Hey, you know what's happening next week? It is head to head. A W and NXT. And uh, you know, at WWE ever ah, well, they're full of it because next week on NXT, they have announced the following for this show, which just happens coincidentally to be going head to head with A W Dynamite. Braun Breaker will face Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes will have John Cena in his corner because, of course, he will. And then Braun Breaker will have Paul Heyman in his corner. They have announced that Cody Rhodes will just happen to be on the show next week. He has a major announcement, which is probably the the Dusty gimmick. And then uh, Kiana James did a, uh, a business deal. She wants to take out old Roxanne Perez. And so her plan is to bring in, of all people... Asuka, who will be facing Roxanne Perez. And if Roxanne wins, then she will get a match with uh, Kiana James. So Asuka's going to go in and lose? I mean, I suppose it's possible. But uh, yes, Carmelo Hayes with John Cena versus Braun Breaker with Paul Heyman. Roxanne Perez versus Asuka. And Cody will be there for an announcement. And that's just what they announced yesterday. Uh, we still got Friday... And we've got Monday to add more matches to this show. You know who doesn't have that luxury? AEW. I think tonight they better have a serious idea on what they want to do. Because Friday night is Friday night. You don't get that many people watching. Unfortunately, you know what happens to Collision. Forget about college football, which is going to be tough enough anyway. You have WWE payback. Oh, that's right, God. That's going to drill Another them. Show. So you know what? You better have everything ready to go. You better drive home the point that you are switching stations. You are switching nights. You are going to be on Tuesday going head up with NXT. Don't say that. But you better have all your tricks out of the bag tonight because I don't know if you're going to reach enough people on social media. I know people love doing that. But I think Dynamite would be far better a thing to do. Well, of course. They're going to get killed on Saturday. They're going to get killed it's a WWE pay-per-view, which outranks even an NXT pay-per-view. Although, to be fair, you know, they got killed far worse on an NXT pay-per-view than a WWE pay-per-view this past Saturday. But there was a lot of other competition as well. But yes, that is... Actually, uh, there really wasn't. That was the problem. Next week's show. Well, there's always just, something. Well, they just took a beating, though. I mean, when you look at the college football, it wasn't that bad, and that was the thing. You know, they had the least amount of competition last week. This week, it's actually going to be a lot stiffer this time around. So, again, all those signs are pointing poorly for how many people are going to watch Collision. So, again, Dynamite is, if tonight's not the night, you probably missed your chance. This Yeti Pot Pie says, because of Title Tuesday, I'm getting the bad end for Collision this Saturday. We don't know that. We don't know what's on Collision. That's part of the problem. Hmm. Man, can you imagine a ready pot pie? You I got to go back in a moment, Observer pie. Live. Back here in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Like Semper Vivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Oh, God. Imagine. You all right? Nah, my back is bugging me. But oh, such is life. Boy. All right, uh, Raw, 1.5. Well, you know, I know it will make you feel better. You know what today is? I don't I care. Don't. You don't care? It's National Taco Day. Oh, God, get out of here. I'm not going to have a taco. What? Come Why on. not? Kidding what, me. do you only like tacos now? Can I get moving with this? i got to do a whole NXT report and talk about the Raw ratings. I will not get tacos? through those. So Raw this week actually did really well. I don't know how. 1.51 million viewers and a .48 in 18 to 49. And... Uh, 1.63 million, 1.57 million, 1.39 million were the hours. And uh, the first hour is far above what they have been doing since football started. And, uh, yeah, this was not this was not bad during football season. So, uh, good job. But they died uh, as the show went on. Ciampa and Gunther did 1.35 million viewers, which is a low number, but uh, a lot of things are getting no num- uh, low numbers at this point. So that's the, uh, that's the raw numbers. Now, a couple of quick notes from NXT because Billy Starks is up in the next segment. And I only got like, I don't know, nine minutes. So uh, 
Becky came out for a promo, and they did that thing that they do, which is first out comes Lyra. She wants a shot. Then out comes, of all people, guess who is still around? Indy Hartwell. I would say she returned from the main roster, but we haven't seen her on the main roster forever. So she showed up. She wants a title shot. And then Roxanne came out. And for reasons I cannot explain, does anyone here uh, listening go to Full Sail? Why have the fans turned on Roxanne? They did not like her on this show. They they booed everything that she did. And uh, half the fans have also turned on Lola Vice. So I need to know what's going on out there. I usually get the scoop from people that are there. But they did not like Roxanne. Becky said, let's do a three-way. Then we had Gallus against Tyler Bate and Butch. So this was funny. So they said this match was made because Joe Coffey interfered in Butch's match on Saturday. But then they do the match and Joe Coffey is the guy not in the match. So it's the other two blokes against Tyler Bate and Butch. And uh, Tyler, he hit a lariat and then dive on the Wolf Gang. They hit Mark with the double team something or other. I don't even know what it was. Pinned him. And then Joe Coffey hit the ring, and they beat down all the guys afterwards. And Ridge Holland made the save. So I had another one. Ridge Holland is going to be on NXT, I believe, next week for a six-man. We had an Ilya Dragunov promo. He is interrupted by Trick Williams, who is then interrupted by Carmelo. And basically, Trick is putting over Ilya, saying, Man, congratulations. Thank you so much for that horrible, vicious beating you gave me, because it took me to another level. And then Carmelo comes out, and he's upset. Why are you thanking this guy? Like, I'm the guy that's been putting you over forever. And then, you know, basically, uh, Elias says, if you want to be champion, you better stop concentrating on him, concentrate on Dom tonight. So then Dom came out, and they did the entire thing back and forth. It just went on absolutely forever. And uh, Trick said he's going to defend the belt by himself tonight. Doesn't need Melo there at ringside. And as a great, nice friend, Mello did not come out at all. Poor Trick got killed. Went home. Then we had Indy, Lyra, and Roxanne. No, he didn't. He was there. Because uh, right before the main event, he was on the phone with John Cena. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. but he was in the parking lot. Well, sure, but I mean, you can get back in. There's a door. Or leave. He He's the door Carmelo car. Hayes. I'm sure he can get back in. Maybe he was getting in his car, Mello. Indy, Lyra, and Roxanne with Becky on commentary. And uh, the match was fine. Roxanne looked good. Lyra was fine. Indy still hit and miss after all these years. And finally, Kiana came down. She yanked Roxanne out of the ring. Becky went after Kiana. Lyra splashed Indy and pinned her. So at Halloween Havoc, it is Becky Lynch versus Lyra Valkyra for the NXT women's title. And then, I swear to God, this woman came out. And she starts yelling at Becky and Lyra. Says, I'll tap both of you out. And I'm like, who is this lady? Is this that uh, Izzy Dame? Just some blonde? And it finally hit me. It was Tegan Knox, <laughs> A totally new look. Totally new hair. I mean, I could not figure out who this was for like a good 30 seconds. And then Anthony Bowens starts talking about Mr. Ass. <laughs> he's in tears talking about Mr. Ass. One more time, he says, from your couch at home, scissor me, daddy ass. I wish they would have said something like, we called him on the ass phone. Remember how Gorilla Monsoon had the banana phone? Yeah. I just imagine a phone, an ass phone that they oh, used to call Billy I'm going to regret this Google search. <laughs> 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 For an article on Vice from April of 2016. <clears throat> the secret world of tiny phones that go inside your butt. Oh, really? Well, that's that's not quite what I was expecting. Nor, wait a second. There's an article on this? Can you, can you send me this article? Okay, all right. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a minute. Now, if you hello, told me, hello, hello. Craig, please. <laughs> what are we talking about? I don't know. Wrestling I or might... something. Okay. Collision? Collision. House of Black versus Darius Martin in action <laughs> and Dreddy Lee Johnson. That's where you keep the phone. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, guys. Did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.